Doing good, I'm your host Jason and welcome to my Nice Page landing page tutorial. Nice Page is a platform that you can use to create a website for completely free. All you'll need to do is drag and drop a few elements. Now to get started, you're going to go on to nicepage.com. From there, you can go over to the top right hand corner and select register. You are going to be redirected to a page on which you'll be able to sign up using your Google account. Once you have signed up, you have a few options. You can either choose to download their software onto your device or you can use their web version, which is what I will be doing. Once you have selected their web version or their software version, you will be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you will be able to create your first website or landing page. You can either choose from one of their templates or you can choose to create one from scratch. Normally, I would recommend that you choose a template and you can see the different categories from the left hand menu option. So you can see that there are quite a few categories that you can choose from. So for example, let's say I were to select one in the sports niche and let's say I were to use this particular template. All you'll need to do is simply select the template that you would like to use. Once you have done that, you're going to be redirected to this page and this is your dashboard. Then from there, you'll be redirected to the editor page and it is quite easy to use and edit. All you'll need to do is hover over the section that you'd like to change. For example, if you would like to change the logo, you can tap where you see logo. And then from there, you could tap on image and you could upload an image for your logo. And now when it comes on to this section, if you would like to add a block, you can hover over it, then tap on the plus. And from there, you could add a header block. You could tap on block right there. Then after you have done that, you can see the different elements option from the left hand menu option right here. If you wanted to add a text, if you wanted to add image, anything at all that you would like to add to any section, you'll find it quite quickly by simply tapping on the plus, then going over to the left hand menu option. And you can continue editing by tapping on the image. We could change the current image that is there and you could select another image. You can scroll down and if you like to edit the text, you can do that. So you could edit the text right here that says workout. You can also edit the button by simply tapping on the current button. From there, you could change the text to whatever you want. You can also see other editing features from the right hand menu option right there. And by scrolling down or by going over to the left hand menu option, you can see the different sections. And again, you can quickly tap on any section that you would like to change. And if it is a case that you would like, for example, whenever someone taps on this button, they'll be redirected to a new page or they'll be able to get a phone number or so on. Whatever you would like to redirect them to with the link, you can do that by tapping on the link icon. So for example, you could select phone number and you could redirect them to a phone number. You could also add a PDF file that they'll be able to download when they select it. And if it is a case that you would like to remove a particular section, all you'll need to do is simply go over to the left hand menu option where you can see the different blocks. Then you can simply tap on the trash can to delete that particular section. And if it is a case that you would like to add a block, you can tap on the plus from the top left hand corner. Then from there, let's say for example, we would like to add an image gallery. You can simply hover over image gallery. Then you can see the different templates or layouts that you can choose from. Once you have found one that you like, let's say this one, you can simply tap on it. After you have tapped on it, you can see that it has now been added. And you can also move it up. So if you would like to move it higher up on the page, you can do that as you can see right there. And to view other elements that you can add, you can go over to the left hand menu option. And from there, you can see the different options right here that you can choose from. And if it is a case that you'd like to add more pages, you can tap on the first icon in the top left hand corner. Then at the moment, you can see that we have three pages on our website. To add a fourth page, you would tap on add page. After you have tapped on add page, you can either choose to start with a blank page 
or you could select one of these templates. Let's say we were to select blank page. After you have done that, you're going to tap on done in the top right hand corner right here. Then you will simply tap on the X. So now that we have added a page, as you can see right here, you can see this is the blank page. So you can see it right there. If you would like to add elements, all you'll need to do is simply tap on the box. Then you can go over to the left hand menu option. From here, you can add different text. You can add link as you can see right here. You can see all of the different features that you can add. So if you like to explore the different page designs, you can do that by hovering over page design. Then you can select the design that you would like to use. But keep in mind that some of the features you would need to be on their paid plan to explore them. But you can add different features. For example, you could add a header section, tap on the plus right there, and you could add the menu and logo as you can see right here. So you can use different layout options. And by scrolling down, you can see it right there. And it is quite easy to edit and use. And once you're finished, you're going to tap on publish. After you have selected publish, you have a few options. You can either use the nice page hosting or you can use WordPress. If you have a WordPress hosting that you would like to use it on, you could do that. Once you have selected the hosting, you're going to tap on publish the nice page. And then from there, your website will now be live. You're just going to give it a few seconds. So we'll tap on connect right there. After you have tapped on connect, you can see right there, it is processing and exporting. And then after that, your website will now be live. Let me tap on OK. You can see right there, congratulations, your website has now been published. So if I wanted to view it, I could copy the link right there or I could tap on open and we'll be redirected to our website. So this is it and we are provided with a free domain name. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching.